welcome to Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. We're so excited to have you today. Uh, our last couple of programs, we have been talking to Mr. and Mrs. Hall. This is Reed and Denise Hall. They've been our guests for the past few programs. And we're just so excited about their testimony and what God has done in their lives. It's really been a story of Grace Grace. And uh, so today we're gonna continue with the, the really the conclusion wow. of their story together. And 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 last time we, we brought Denise on, uh, we, we talked in our first show about Reed. He, he and, and Denise both work at Lakewood uh, and, and they do basically all things Lakewood and uh, many other things. But, but they, uh, how Reed lost his wife, Lisa, and how Denise, for many, many years, just waited on the Lord to bring that right guy. And today we're going to conclude with what exactly happened in this beautiful story. So we, we left off last time with, with you uh, talking about how you guys met, and we can start there. Okay. Well, as we mentioned, we met at a, a, a an event for some family, mutual family friends. I went to visit one of my very best friends. She had just adopted a baby. They had been unable to have babies um, for 25 years. They had been married. And so she's a covenant friend of mine. And she always believed, she said, I'm going to get my baby and you're going to get your husband in the same year. She said that for years. And I, you know, I would be like, that's sweet, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're going to get your baby, I know, you know. Mm -hmm. But I just really wasn't believing for my husband. I truly wasn't. And it kind of messes with your theology a little bit. And maybe we'll comfort some out there. I was not standing and believing for a husband at this point. I, God you, was my had husband. You given up? I don't know that I'd given up, but I'd put it way up on the shelf, right. way up on the shelf. If it happened, wonderful. If it didn't, I knew God would provide in some way. Well, you didn't make it your idol. I was like, not, that wasn't now, your it, mission. I can't say that I never did, but at this point, no. I had learned I can sit and make that the focal point of my life and be miserable or get on with my life and enjoy life and enjoy my friends and my job and whatever activities, my hobbies and whatever. So I went to visit her after I met him that weekend. As she had just gotten her newborn baby and I hadn't seen him yet and so I went over to visit and of course the first thing she asked me is well how was the anniversary celebration I said oh it was great I said there were so, you know this many people there and everybody sounded great the concert was great and blah 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 and she said well did you did you meet anybody and she would <laughs> ask me that if I went to the grocery store and came up <laughs> did you meet anybody and I'm like, because now the year is I know, the year is the rolling. Baby. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I have my baby. So, and, um, and so I said, well, I said, Cindy introduced me to this guy named Reed. And now he just, his wife just passed away, just went to heaven like two months ago. So, and he's a really nice guy, you know, but whatever. And I was like, this baby is adorable. Look how cute, you know. And she's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she said, you like him. I said, I don't even know him. She said, you're interested, aren't you? And I said, well, I don't think so. I mean, he, how could he be ready, you know? And went through the course of the conversation. She, by the end of the conversation, she was crying because she knew this was something was happening. And I was crying because I didn't want to move to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to move to Houston. I don't want to move. Because I had always said, you know, you, you always, you know, you learn never to say never. And I always said, I never want to, I never want to live in Houston. I'm sorry. It's nothing no, we personal. Love it here. I know. You I love do it too here now. now, right? I okay. love it here now. Uh, okay. I see where I, she would live if she had a choice. Where would you live? Here. Okay. I would live see? here. Look, when I moved here from here. Chicago, I thought, I, I would go, Lord. Yeah, see? There's at least 40 other states I would have picked before yeah, Texas. Yeah, exactly. And, and now I love it here, too. Exactly. So just, it just somehow, it just wraps and that's you up. Where, and yeah. So she started crying before I did, and I'm like, why are you crying? And she's, well, the baby, and I got my baby, and I think this could be the, this could be oh it. We always goodness, knew. So and awesome. I'm like, why stop crying? And then I'm like, I don't want to live to Did Houston. you tell her that you're, that something left in you? Did you tell I her did. that part? I did. I told oh, her that part. That was, that yeah. was it. Done. And it was so funny when we were talking, the Holy Spirit just settled. 
And oh, that's what made goodness. us cry, I think, because mm. it was so tender and so How sweet. awesome. And anyway, so, but I still wasn't like, oh, this is it. I know this is it. I was still resistant, mm -hmm. you know. My head was still Guarding going. Heart, my still my head, that. yes. My head was still, this couldn't happen. It's not logical. It's too, only, you can't, you know, it can't be. Right. Anyway, over the course of him coming, you know, us getting to know each other and him coming down to visit, or up to visit, I, the Holy Spirit, through some means every single day it seemed like would just overshadow me and melt I felt like my heart was melting toward him mm. and late you know as I look back I know that that protective barrier the Holy Spirit was melting mm. so that I would be open to him right and because you probably had to build a barrier I, all course, those years over the years because yeah, I never even thought about that because mm -hmm. yeah otherwise like I said I think I probably would have married married the wrong person it would have had right. to be the right person at right. that point but you know what I mean How awesome. and so um so it took a, it was a process for the Holy Spirit to melt that barrier that protective mm -hmm. barrier and so um there came a point where I realized if I didn't decide what I wanted to do he was going to move on he I and and I couldn't blame him because I wasn't giving him much encouragement and um so I asked the Lord to give me a clear sign. I said, you've just got to tell me something. I don't want to lose this man. I don't, he's a wonderful man. I can see that. And I don't want to lose him if he's for me. Let me interrupt and say that, that her wall, I described it as a velvet glove with an iron fist inside. <laughs> she had a wall that was so Like strong. Jericho? Oh, <laughs> my gosh. We could talk about her dogs, work, and church, and that was the limitations. Anything that was hard but I or talked, anything. You talked about Lisa a lot in, your, in the I whole did. thing, and, and I listened compassionately. I well, for the first couple of months. So this, this went on. But I'm sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead okay. and finish your prayer. <laughs> so I asked the Lord for a sign because, I, you know, I, I feel with my heart, my mind is getting in the way, but you got to, if I hear something from you, I'll then do you'll it. Know. I'll know. Right. Mm -hmm. So... I just got on my face one afternoon and I finally heard from the Lord and I heard him say in my spirit, it, it's not going to make sense to you. It's not going to be logical. You're not going to understand. Just trust me and move forward. Mm -hmm. Wow. Praise I God. said, okay, that's all I needed to hear. I just needed that. I just and needed a little you were nudge. Logical, and yes. you said it's not going to be gonna logical. It's not going to make sense. So that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To you, to mm -hmm. your head. Well, let me cut in while you're, while you're mm -hmm. talking about it. So on my side, I'm, you know, I've had, I've been up to see her. We've talked every week, but it's always been the surface stuff. And I finally told her one night, I was up for business in Dallas and, and we had, we just had dinner. You know, I just, I was in town. We had dinner that night and, and, uh, you know, she, she went home and, and I had, an, I don't think I had another meeting, but anyway, we, we just had dinner that night. And that's when I told her, I want, I desired to hold her hand. You're not, you know, her, you know, you're not ready. This and I said, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know what else to do. Maybe. I don't know if she doesn't believe me or if she doesn't know who I am. So I decided I'll get the lady I've been counseling with since I had the dreams when we first found out Lisa got sick. I was uh, in counseling with, a, with the lady that works runs our counseling department at Lakewood and just, you know, bore my heart out to her. She knew everything about me. We had, you know, Lisa and I had brought her, we were having kid trouble. You know, how do we get through to the kids here and there? Right. And she was very helpful with that. So I said, you know, I went, as a matter of fact, I, I had talked to, to her name's Rebecca, and I, I took my computer over to Rebecca's house so that they could hook up via Skype. She agreed to, to talk with Denise, but she had to see her, you know, and mm -hmm. so and so I hooked them up, and I got Denise online. I said, you know, and I told them both together, I said, Rebecca, you can talk about anything but my boys. Anything we've ever talked about is fair game, anything you want to talk about, mm -hmm. and thinking that would do good, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was still, it, it got to the point <laughs> I, I had mistake. It was a big mistake. <laughs> I asked her what her love language was, and you know, thought, thought I slapped her in the face. It was nearly that response. This to was it. early on, though. This was way early on. Well, but but she kind of shut me down. So <laughs> she said, she said, "Well, you had a great marriage. What do you miss most about being married?" And it was still sur very on the surface, you know. And so that's when I just decided, you know, she's really not interested in this. She likes. I know she's already told me she hates Houston. <laughs> Yeah. And, she, and and she's she has a great job. She loves it. She loves it here in Dallas. She's really just not interested in in, in doing anything. So I started to kind of move on in the in the 
in the relationship. You know, we would we would still talk, but I just wasn't calling her as much, and would always respond if we she texted. And so, at at this this point is when she was telling the story about you know getting on her face and, yeah. and praying. That. Yeah, and I, and so I realized after I got that word from the Lord, I felt like. And he had mentioned it before. You need to come to Houston and see my world because right. he had only been coming to Dallas. Right. And so I thought, so I called him under the guise of going to visit my sister who lives in the woodlands. Mm -hmm. um, said, I'm going to be in Houston this weekend. Um, would you like to have dinner? Or, you know, you mentioned getting together with a couple of your friends. Would you like to have dinner with a couple of your friends? Mm -hmm. And so in it, anyway, so we ended up spending the whole weekend together. I didn't want to say I wanted to come see him because just in case, you know, I'm just, I'm still just feeling my way, <laughs> still you know, your guard up. Yeah. yeah. So in calculating all this and knowing now, knowing this much about her, I said, who do, what couple do I pick that's going to be, you know, the right couple for this? So you're so, all stressed out. So I'm thinking, about okay. Are you stressed? So, no, not really. But I wanted to, you know, the producer in me wanted it to be right. Yeah, so that I, is so I, funny. I said, okay, so, you know, Kara knows me. I went to first grade with Kara. That's how long I've known Kara. Okay. And her husband, Leonard, I went to high school with. He's a lawyer. She works in law. What a great, that there you be, go. that's perfect. We'll have a good mm -hmm. conversation. We'll have a, have all that. It was but, a setup. But, yeah. So, <laughs> so we did that and we actually, we went to a movie that night and then I took her back to her sister's house and went in and met her, her sister. And if her sister had been single, we got along much better. Than they Denise talked for I. like, I didn't <laughs> even have to be there because they knew so many uh, mutual common, people common people. from really? Baytown. Yeah. That, you know, they lived was in from. the same city, same yeah. town. But uh, anyway, go ahead. So anyway, it. so the next day um, we went to, we took a trip to Wimberley to their um, little, what is that called? Trades days. Trades yeah. days. Anyway, we were having lunch and I said, we began talking. I asked about Kyle. I asked how he was doing with everything. And he said, well, I really don't feel like I can tell you without putting more pressure on you about us. And I don't want to do that. And I said, well, since you bring that up, um, I've been thinking and praying. And I said, if, if you are still interested, I think we should move forward and see what God has. Praise God. And what were you wow. thinking? Hallelujah. <laughs> well, let me, let me back up and get to that because I have to preface that. I, I told you about Kyle and Kyle's struggles. And, and I told you the story about Kyle uh, being, you know, that I was stuck in quicksand. And if I could get out, I wouldn't know what to do. And then, you know, the next week, it was, it, it was a couple of weeks later. And, and I thought, you know, I told him, I said, I feel like I've gotten out of quicksand, uh, you know, and I don't know what to do. And then um, the Sunday before she called on a Tuesday to say she was coming in town that weekend. So it, this was a Sunday night and I'm talking with Kyle. I say, I say, Kyle, I feel like I'm out of the quicksand. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I said, but how long do you need me to stay here for you? That's so and sweet. Just what a good daddy. Wow. Long pause. I'm, I'm dying for him to say, <laughs> say something. I said, Kyle, I can't, I can't help if you don't talk. And he said, well, he said, he said, it would be hard to see you with anybody, I, I, I love mom. And I said, well, I do too. And, and uh, he, he said, but you need to move on with your life. Praise God. And so, mm, praise the uh, Lord. And, and so then he asked, he said, well, what, you know, what kind of woman would you, would you want to look, look, you know, would you look for? And I said, well, certainly someone like your mom. And, and uh, you know, described a couple of things. He says, well, like Denise, because I had told them, I kept up. And I said, well, I said, you know, he has someone like Denise. I said, I don't, I don't think it's Denise. And, and, and when I spoke that, the Lord spoke to me, you know, because I, I, in my mind, I'm moving on. And he says, look what I have preserved for you. Wow. In my spirit. And over the course of the week, he said that twice to me. But, but I preserve this for you. Wow. And so that Sunday on Tuesday, she calls. And so still me thinking, you know, well, it's going to be more of the same. It's talk about dogs, church, and work. <laughs> you know, but we can't go any, can't go any further. And so when she says, I, I don't know if I was in the middle of a, you know, it's nearly the comical thing where you spew the drink across. I, it wasn't quite that. But I swallowed. I didn't respond for probably 10 seconds. And I said, I, I am so sorry. I, I think I heard you say something you surely you didn't say. <laughs> I'm here to repeat it. Aww. And I was just shocked, absolutely shocked. 
Because isn't it interesting, it, like God, he always goes before you mm -hmm. and he's always setting the stage. And even with your son, he was he was really just making it all okay for every aspect to come together. You know, putting the pieces At together, the puzzle, you know, he's every aspect and making it all okay because he works all things together for good, you know, so you can see exactly. that. Exactly. At every so turn there was confirmation after confirmation after confirmation and you knew for me, that's what I needed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm just so cautious. I always have been cautious. I guess no. sometimes when we wait, we just get in that mode of waiting yes. and you're not w expecting yes. that breakthrough. Yes. And here's the breakthrough, right? Yes, exactly. In front of but then you want to know, okay, For I need sure. every yes. kind of confirmation. Put a billboard yes. over his head mm -hmm. with an arrow, Please. Lord. Do whatever and you have to do. And he just about did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> so I started that, that week, the rest of the week, literally, I went and visited. Lisa had two sisters and a brother. One sister that we were very close to, Andrea, I talked about her, I called her. And I went and saw her other sister, I went and saw her brother, went and saw both my brothers, and I called my sister actually, who lives uh, in Dallas, uh, to tell them that, that I had I wanted to start dating and just kind of get their thoughts. That was so thoughtful of you. Their, their, their I, really thoughts and, that. I love that. Meeting the whole family yeah. and yeah. letting them, yeah. And so here, here we go, that's November 2nd, and by Thanksgiving, you know, I've learned one thing through through this whole thing. Life is very short. You're not promised mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And when you know it's God, you know you 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 just things happen. Mm -hmm. And and that that's I knew it was God mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we get to Thanksgiving, and um, I, I just you know had kind of hit a brick wall with okay. I I can only go so far because I had not gotten to see Andrea, who was Lisa's sister and her best friend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'd asked her to come over after the whole family got together. We actually got together with Lisa's side of the family at Thanksgiving. And uh, I'd asked her to come to the house afterwards to meet Denise. And she said, yes, I think I'll do it. And then she called back the next day and said she just couldn't do it. And Andrea had lost her husband when she was about 24 years old in a car accident. Mm. Uh, and Andrea's husband now had lost his wife to cancer. Wow. And then they met and married, and they'd been married for 25 years. Great marriage, but, but Rick, behind the scenes, told her, he needs you. He needs your blessing. Approval, here. yeah. yeah. So she comes and they hug, they meet on the driveway. We're, 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 they get to our house mm -hmm. first, and, and they meet on the driveway, and they go and out, you know, we were at my house, and they go in the bedroom, and they talk literally for two and a half hours, and I'm going, oh my gosh, what is going, <laughs> what what is going is on happening in there? In there? So they come out, and Andrea comes and hugs me, and she tells me, you need to pursue her. And this wow. is Lisa's sister. You know, this is... They were very different. Five <laughs> months after <laughs> she's died, yeah. See, she's, look at that restoration. Mm -hmm. God just... He just restores so, everything. You know, that was an, another well, and, and call. The family the on both sides have just been so welcoming and so understanding. And it has been it has to have been difficult on both mm -hmm. sides, especially Lisa's side of the family. And they've all just been wonderful. And the so, boys are The boys great have been amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. They just welcome me with open arms and have... We've just kind of gotten to know each other and love each other. And you can such a blessing into their lives too, you mm -hmm. know. I hope so. I, my desire is just really to, to fill, a, fill a gap. I know I'm not their mom, and I know I'll never fill Lisa's spot, but to just to fill in, you know, as much as I can, you mm -hmm. know, in their lives and, and be a blessing. So it's mm -hmm. just been wonderful. Kyle texted me a, well, probably six son. months ago, yeah. the youngest son. He was having such a hard time. And um, we got, we've gotten along famously from the beginning, and he's just been wonderful. He's just a great kid and um, young man. And so he texted, we were texting back and forth about something. And he said, he texted in, back and he said, I know this is off subject, but he said, I just want to thank you for being, this is, I can't remember the exact words, for, for being a blessing to our family. And he said, I have friends that have stepmothers that are a nightmare. And he mm -hmm. said, you are wonderful, and I, I'm so grateful that we have a good relationship. And he mm -hmm. said, I just want you to know that when when Shelby and I have babies, I want you to be their grandma. Oh, praise God. And I'm so glad that you're there. And oh, and I was yeah. just, we were both just, <gasps> you know, as I read the text, I was just like, Look this is ass. like, 
music to my ears. I couldn't have I couldn't have said anything sweeter to me. Mm. And that's so priceless. that's just God's redemption, his yes. restoration, you know. Yeah. And, and so, so was it a was it a, a tough transition? Because here now you are Insta family. Now you all, you've got, yeah. now you're going to be yeah. getting married and yeah. a husband, sons, you know, you, you know, just all of these things that friends, friends, new friends. a new place to live and you've got a Houston. New city. and Houston. Mm -hmm. And so you're just, you have a major transition, you know, with all of these new things it in was. your life. And, and especially when you've had so much time alone, you know, and you kind of, you know, were you yeah, set in your ways? That. Was it really a hard and being was... married to Reed? I mean, he is, <laughs> yeah. he's a busy guy, he's a dynamo, obviously. And yes. he's, he's... That's what everybody would tell me, his Whoa. friends, like, you know about him, right? <laughs> <laughs> the and then they would tell me, she has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the warning signs. But, you know, Have I let you down in any way? No, yeah. <laughs> it's been a, it's a, been a it's journey. It's been a journey. It's been fun. No, I, that was my, always my thought. I am 50 years old. There is no way I can fit my life or someone, my life around someone and they can fit their life around me. Right. I've been alone. I've been independent too, too long. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say there was so, if I, I had never felt grace, like I felt grace over these last two years in the transition, lots of changes, lots of transition. But I have to say it was like being on one of those moving sidewalks. I didn't have to do anything, just move right through. And it just, it just felt right. Oh, felt God, right. So cool. It just, everything fell into place. Mm. Sure. There are a few challenges here and there, but nothing that said that made me feel like I was in the wrong place. Right. I knew I was in the right place. Mm -hmm. I love where we live. I love in Houston. I love Houston. I have wonderful friends here that I love dearly that I just thought, not that I've replaced my friends in Dallas, but right. have just so complimented our lives and our relationship. Mm -hmm. And, been such a blessing and welcoming to me. Open mm -hmm. arms. The people at Lakewood are wonderful. They are the best right. people ever. Yeah. And just, I, it couldn't have been any easier That's than it's so been. Awesome. See, he That's just so prepares awesome. everything. He Every prepares last detail, the way, doesn't he? Doesn't he? he and, does. And he it's, prepares and again, the way. A, exceedingly abundantly yes. more than you could have yes. asked or thought. Yes. If you could have written your own story, couldn't it, have you written know, it this good. And this is, mm -hmm. and you know, there's your exceeding mm -hmm. abundance yes. right there. Yes. And vice versa, right? And he Praise God. And this is your restoration. You know, y'all complimented her on her wardrobe uh, yes, earlier when, when, she, great. when she walked in. So, and you look awful nice too. Though, oh well, yes. no, well, listen, you, can, you know, you can you can only put so much on an old cow. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I guess it would be a bull. But uh, <laughs> when I moved her to my house, we we I, I moved her stuff. She had sold her place the first of January. We weren't getting married till February, but I moved all her stuff. She moved in with a friend, and I had not packed it, although I loaded it all and put it all in my garage. Well, I moved her into into the closet at the house I was currently in and called her back and told her that I had found her retirement <laughs> and it was in her wardrobe. <laughs> and she said, oh, honey, I threw two thirds of it away. I did. No and, oh, I didn't throw it away, I gave it away. So yeah. She's a clothes shark. Huh? Yeah, well. I had no idea. Girl, I'm right there with you. Thank right you. There. Thank you. That's right. We know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> that's right. No. That's right. It's a hobby. That's, right. that's awesome. And she loved her hobby. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's awesome. Her loves well, her hobby. We're so glad you guys joined us. We're we're so thankful. And 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 how Love would your you? Story. What would you have to say in closing, Reed? Well, just just that God is faithful, and mm -hmm. and, and that no, no matter what you're going through, you know God's there for you. He's got mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. And and whether you can see it or not, whether whether you even have the capability of seeing it, mm -hmm. having the head knowledge to know it's there, right? It'll 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 make it to the heart, mm -hmm. and, and even in your darkest hour, just just hang on awesome. and and hang on to the promise. And Trust. how about you, Denise? What would you say in closing? Um, just that God is faithful. You know, He prepares the way, like we said. And you may be sitting there tonight thinking, I've made mistakes, I've, I'm divorced, I've never been married, I just don't see it in the future. God has not met my expectations. He will always go above and beyond your expectations if you wait upon Him and rest in Him and allow Him to make beautiful things out of ashes because that's what He does, that's what He's best at. And so I would encourage you just to keep your eyes focused on Him, trust Him, and allow Him to make something beautiful out of your life. Yes.
and God gives us beauty for ashes. And we're so thankful that you joined us. Thank you for joining us uh, for Grace Grace with Nina and Michelle. And you can log on to ninaandmichelle.com. Before we go, we'd like to pray. And uh, Nina, would you like to close us out? Heavenly Father, we just praise your name and we just thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your kindness and your love towards us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your love is unending and we don't have to earn it, Lord. And so, Lord, tonight I want to ask anyone who doesn't uh, know Jesus and doesn't have Jesus in their heart that if you would like to... Um, have salvation, have a true relationship with Jesus Christ, just to repeat after me, uh, Heavenly Father, we just ask, Lord, that, that um, we want to be a new creation in Christ. We believe that your son died on the cross for us, and we believe that the blood of Jesus Christ has redeemed us from our, all of our sins. And we just thank you, Father, that we are made whole and made new. In your son's holy name we pray, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. And so we thank you. We invite you to log on and send us your prayer requests. And we're happy to pray with you and to hear your stories and your testimonies. And um, so we're just... God bless you. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you, you so for much. joining us. Thank you, Reed and Denise. We appreciate you so much. What a great story and what a faithful God. We love you. Mm -hmm.